This is question number five. We're told figure four represents a railway network. The number on each arc represents the length in miles of that section of the railway. Sophie needs to travel along each section to check that it's in good order. She must travel along each arc of the network at least once and wants to find a route of minimum length. She will start and finish at A. In part A for five marks, it says use the route inspection algorithm to find the arcs that will need to be traversed twice. You must make your method and working clear. So this is a route inspection algorithm or Chinese postman problem. The first thing I like to do is identify the odd nodes. So if we look now at the odd nodes, I'm going to go through this alphabetically. So if we consider A, A has a valency order or degree of 3. So that is an odd node. If we look at B, B has an order of 3, again, or valency of 3. C has 4, so that's not going to be included. That's an even node. D is going to be 5, so that's odd. E is going to be odd, as it's got 5. And then we can consider the others, but we can see clearly F, G and H are all even. In a network, we will have now an even number of odd, uh, odd valency nodes. Um, and in an exam, generally you won't get more than 4. Uh, so all we're going to do is work with these. So let's now go ahead and consider pairs. I'm going to do this systematically, almost like a sample space in probability. So we could have A, B. We could have A, D. We could have A, E. We could have B, D. We could have B, E. And we could have D, E. I'm now going to consider the shortest length between these particular nodes. Now be careful because it might look that it's the direct route, but we do need to check all routes. So if we look at AB, AB is 47 directly. But if I go to C, 24, and then C to B, 20, that's 44. So this is going to be 44 miles, so just jotting this in, 44 miles. And I would have to repeat A to C, C to B. Let's now look at A to D. D is just here, again, 48 directly. If I come down here, 24 and 18 is 42. There's nothing going to be better. I can see we're bust here as soon as we do 47. Um, so this is going to be 42 miles. And we would need to consider repeating. If we were going to add these ones, AC, so AC, and then C to D. Uh, A to E, let's go uh, A to E. E is down here. So what have we got? We can go this way, 78. We can go this way, which is going to be 39. Uh, and that looks about the best, so ACE at 39, so 39 miles, and we will repeat A to C, C to E, if we were to include that. Okay, B to D, so where's B? B is just here. Um, that looks about the quickest. Up through C, let's check everything else. Yes, quite clearly, because the other two are 47. Uh, 38 miles, and we would do B, C, D. B to C, C to D, so we would have two repeated R. Uh, B to E. Again, be careful here. 47 looks a direct route, but 35 beats that and beats that nicely. Just there. 35 miles. And we would do B, C, E. So B, C, E. B to C, C to E. And then D to E. What have we got for D to E? Uh, we could go directly 30. We could go this way, 33. We could go that way, 32. So we're going to go direct. And that's 30 miles. I'm now going to match these pairs up, and this is why I like to do it systematically. What we're going to do is match A, B with D, E, A, D with B, E, and A, E with B, D, and look now at the lowest weight. So if I do that now, I can see that A, uh, A B plus now D, E is going to be equal to 74 miles. Okay, so if we now look at A, D, so A, D plus um, BE. Remember, we need each of these letters once and once only in our combinations here. So that's going to be 77 miles. So all I'm doing is adding the 42 and the 35, and then finally AE plus BD, and that's 77 miles as well, 39 and 38, 77, that sounds good. So we're going to choose one of lowest weight. So we choose this, and I need to state that I'm going to repeat so if I'm doing A to B, I'm going to repeat A to C, I'm going to repeat C to B, 
and I'm going to on this one A to C, C to B, and then I've got D to E, which is going to be now uh, that one just there. And if I wanted to state now the shortest length, let's just put the shortest length. So the shortest length is going to be equal to the weight of the network, which is 344, plus now the repeated ones. And the repeated ones we know are going to give us 74. So what's that going to give us? 418. Is that right? 418 miles is the shortest. Um, we're not asked to actually do that. Uh, I'll write down a possible. Okay, so we, we've kind of done this in the next bit. So what we're going to do in the next part um, is just deal with uh, the, the actual A possible route. So that's for shortest. I've just added those. Now what I'm going to do, let's see what we were given in the exam book. Right, I'm going to use the, um, I'm going to use the exam book uh, down here and I'm going to repeat the arcs and then we're going to find a possible shortest uh, route. There are absolutely loads of these. Um, we're repeating AC, so let's just repeat AC. So we're not actually building new roads, we're just showing these now as repeat A to C. We're doing uh, C to B and D to E. So C to B, so B to C, and then we're doing, so that's going, going to there, and then we're going to do D to, which one else are we doing? We're doing D to E. So what I need to do is start and finish A and write down a possible, so I'm going to do this just here. So what I'm going to do is just mark these as I go. In fact, we'll just change the color of that. Let's uh, change this over. And we'll do it, let's do it with that one just there. So what I, in fact, we'll have this one. What I'm going to do is just find a possible shortest route. So I'm going to write down A, uh, A, D, then we're going to go to F. So all we're doing is just going around this. So what I've made this now is an Eulerian graph. The vertices have all got even valency now. If we look at this one, I've increased this to 4. If we look now at C, I've increased it from 4 to 6. Well, it was 4, it's now 6. This one I've increased to 4, this one I've increased to 6, this one I've increased to 6. So let's go down to our A, D, then we go G, H. So you can see now that this is a fairly straightforward. The idea is to keep away from A as much as possible. Uh, let's go back that way, so E to G, uh, and then to D. So let's go to D, then we're going to go to E, let's go to E, let's go back up to D. So all I'm doing is writing this down, this is one of the many, let's go to C, Let's go to E, so let's go to E. Uh, let's go to B, so we can go to B, and then we can go to C. We can go back to B, that looks pretty good. We can go to A, let's go to A. We can go to C, let's go to C, and then back to A. So as you can see, there are an absolute whole host of different ways that you can do that, but that is just one. Write down a possible shortest inspection route, given its length. There's one of them, 418 miles. Okay, Sophie now decides to start the inspection route at E. The route must still traverse each arc at least once, but may finish at any vertex. Determine the finish point so that the length of the route is minimised. You must give reasons for your answer and state the length of your route. Okay, three marks this question. So let's identify now the odd nodes again. It's A. It's going to be B. We've got A, B, D, and E. What we're going to do is make this semi-Eulerian. If it's semi-Eulerian, we're allowed two odd nodes, or one pair of odd nodes, such that we can start at E and finish at one of the other ones. What I want to do is repeat now the arc, or arcs, of lowest weight that don't include E. So what I'm going to do is turn this from a non-Eulerian graph to a semi-Eulerian graph. In the first part of the question, we made it Eulerian or fully traversable. This is semi-Eulerian or semi-traversable. So we're starting E. I've just got to decide which I'm going to now go ahead and finish at. Now, if we think about this, we want them, the ones that don't include E. So I could now repeat AB. I could repeat AD. I could repeat BD. What I want to do is for one of lowest weight. So what I'm going to do, and we'll just take some time doing this, we're going to do B to C to D. I'm choosing now here. So what I'm going to do is B to C to D. So let's just do that. So B to C and then C to D. So I'm going to now repeat. So 
repeat, and I'm just going to write repeat B, D, which is going to be now B to C to D, so B to C plus C to D. The weight, so the weight now is going to be equal to the 344, so let's put the 344, plus now the 38. So all I'm going to be doing is adding that on, and what does that give me? 382, let's just check that, that's 382 miles, so 382 miles. I'm going to state now, start at E, finish A. So start at E, finish at A. Now, and I'm going to put my justification, now semi-oil area, so now semi-oil area or semi-traversable, I'll let you write something rather than me scribbling all of this, oil area, let's put, spell that correctly, semi-oil area graph, start at one odd node, finish at the other. So start at one odd node, finish at the other odd node, other odd node, and I've chosen to repeat B to D because it's of lowest weight. Now, if we look at this, what we could do if we wanted, and I'll let you do it on the screen, you can now just consider, we'll start there, we'll finish there, and you could find uh, a shortest possible route by doing that. So let's just check I've answered the question. In part C, so it says, Sophie now decides to start the inspection route to E. The route must still tra uh, traverse each arc at least once, but may finish any vertex. In part C for three months, determine the finishing point so that the length of the route is minimised. You must give reasons. Okay, so start to E, finish A. It's now become semi Eulerian. As we've only got two odd nodes, we can start at one, finish at the other. And I've chosen this one because the shortest one that I need to repeat is B to D at 38 miles. I would add 38 miles to the network, which is going to give me now uh, a total of 382 miles. So something along those words will now get you the three miles.